sub pre calc, uh, eight point one geometric vectors continue notes. Notes, awesome, thank you. Hit me up on the gram. Okay, <laughs> Reese says hi. All right, so we are talking about scalar quantities today. A scalar is a quantity with only magnitude, no direction. Um, so examples of scalar quantities are mass, length, time, temperature, anything that is just represented by a single number is a scalar quantity. Um, numbers used to measure these quantities are called scalars. The product of a scalar k and a vector a is a vector with the same direction as a and the magnitude k times vector a if k is greater than zero, meaning k is positive. So all you're going to do, k is just a number, a is just a vector, so you're going to take vector a here, here's vector a, and you're basically just multiplying it by 2. So you're just saying 2 times the magnitude of vector a. Because 2 is positive, it's going to go in the same direction as a. So I'm just going to copy a in the same direction, and I'm just going to copy it twice. So this is a, this is a, together they make one vector that is 2a. If k is negative or less than 0, then the vector has the opposite direction as a and the magnitude of k times a. So it's the same idea. You're taking vector a, you're multiplying the length by 3, and this negative sign just means you're changing the direction. So instead of pointing to the upper right of the screen, it's going to point to the lower left. So I'm going to take a, and I'm going to multiply its length by 3. So there's 1a, 2a, 3a. That's one line, one vector. And I'm changing the direction um, to the opposite side. So this would be a, a, and a. I change the direction, so all together, that's negative 3a. So we want to use the triangle method to find 2 times vector v minus 1 half vector w. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this as a sum because the resultant we always write as a sum of two vectors. So this is going to be 2 times vector v plus negative 1 half vector <coughs> w. So I'm going to start with, um, with vector v here and I'm going to multiply it by 2. So vector v points straight up, it's about that long, and that long again. So that is 2 times vector v. Then um, I'm using the triangle method, so I'm going to do um, vector w. I'm going to take about half of vector w, so that's about that long, and it's negative 1 half, so I'm going to switch the direction. So to do that, I'm going to do um, tip to tail, so I'm going to take negative one-half vector w. I have tip to tail here. Um, and then the resultant is going to draw, be drawn tail to tail here, there. So in white here, we have two times vector v minus one-half vector w. So again, this is two times vector v. This is negative one-half vector w. I took half of its magnitude and changed the direction and used the triangle method to find um, the resultant. <laughs> okay. okay, so now I would like you to try. Use the triangle method to find 3 times vector a plus 4 times vector v. Here's your vectors. Copy them to the best of your ability on your piece of paper and try and do 3 vector a plus 4 vector v. Okay, so like we talked about, vectors are used a lot in real-world examples, a lot in um, aviation, in navigation, um, construction, anything to do with forces and direction. Um, vectors can be used to solve these problems. So here's an example. A cruise ship is 964.5 feet long. The ship leaves port and sails for 80 miles in the direction of 50 degrees north of due east. Draw a picture and find the magnitude of the vertical and horizontal components. So um, vectors also, we talk a lot about direction here. So if you don't know your north, south, east, and west, get familiar with that. North, south, east, and west. So we want to draw a picture. So um, 
The ship is sailing um, 50 degrees north of due east. So here's due east, and here is north. And the ship is sailing north of east. So this is the ship going 80 miles. This is the direction, 50 degrees north of east. Here's north, here's east. So we want to find the horizontal and the vertical components. The horizontal component here is x, the vertical component here is y. In order to do that, we need to use some trig functions. So I'm going to say, if I'm looking at y, and I can use my SOHCAHTOA here, okay, um, looking from the 50 degree angle, I can say um, sine of 50 equals y over 80. Likewise, I can say cosine of 50 equals x over 80, adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay. Bye. Bye. Reese says bye. Okay, so then we're just going to solve these algebraically. So I'm solving for y, I'm solving for x. So I'm going to say 80 sine 50 equals y. 80 cosine 50 equals x. When I plug that into my calculator and round, I get um, y equals 61, and I get x equals 51. So y was our vertical component, and x was our horizontal component. Okay, so I now would like you to try this example. A ship leaving port sails for 75 miles in the direction of 35 degrees north of due east. That's the same direction as the example before. Find the magnitude of the horizontal and vertical components. So same idea we just did, um, but I would like you to try that on your own, and I will check those at the beginning of class tomorrow.